Last time on Rock Paper Critical Failure. A, a tiefling, as was mentioned, uh, who has turned to Sin and said, Hello, welcome to Avernus. May I have your name? My name is Sen. Very good, very good. Basically now. now, if you would just sign here, uh, in, okay. in exchange for the signature, you will receive a magic no. item. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't believe we got your name. Actually. Oh, my name is Vrogthoth. Read it. Uh, it. It does say that by signing this contract and agreeing to the terms therein, uh, that it repeats what he said, that you will receive a magic item from his stores, and you just have to go to his store and pick out a magic item, and he will, to the best of his ability, without malice, try and give you uh, one of the, will give you one of those items that you then get to keep. Um, that all seems very straightforward, but you also notice that you, it does say in exchange for your name. Um, that's how they get you. Don't fall for that sort no, of thing. No, not even you, miss. And, and Rhea just looks at him and goes, please don't talk to me. All right. Very well. <laughs> Ta-ta. And he snaps and disappears. And like the entire thing that you were seeing vanishes. No longer does everything look idyllic and green and wonderful. But instead, just immediately a, a hot wind assaults your senses. The city street that you are standing on is lined with just crumbling buildings, many of which who, that have already collapsed. You can see splatters of blood here and there uh, and just various weird ichor and, and fluids all around. Uh, the ground is shuddering underneath your feet. And up in the sky, which is red and smoky, there is a 400 foot diameter sphere of darkness that is discharging strokes of bluish white lightning that is slamming into the city all over the place at irregular intervals. Perched atop a distant bluff that you can see off in the distance, uh, which you will know, um, Dahlia, is a crumbling fortress, the High Hall of Elturel. Uh, Traxagor looks up, looks around at all of this, eyes wide, and mutters a few arcane syllables and then disappears. Can I roll a nature uh, check on Lulu? 11. <laughs> Dahlia, Lulu is a what is called a Hollyphant. Uh, they are a, a, a celestial being. I'm sorry, a Heffalump? A Hollyphant. <laughs> Lulu seems precious and innocent, in, in a in just mm. a most holy kind of way. I've remembered something. What do you got? I have, I can, oh, I used to, I used to be able to shape change. And I can do this I now. That. And then she starts glowing. Oi, it's you. <sighs> and turning over, you can see a figure striding toward you down the street, hands lit up with arcane energy, preparing to cast a spell at you. What appears to be a black and purple robed individual whose head is just a full skull. They have a dagger protruding out of their heart. Um, what so, the hell? So she zooms over and uh, gets her tusks out uh, and attempts to to rend Over. this person. Yeah. Lulu Lulu hits this person so hard, like you, you see the spell holding in, in his hand drop off and he goes, no! And he gets punted backwards in the air. The little bit of the spell energy blasting him backwards as he skyrockets off of the cliff and out of sight. Oh. There is an imp that is sort of um, like standing there talking to a halfling, right? You're not using your soul. What do you need? Do you need some food? Some bird seed? I'll set on food. Nope. Can I kill this imp? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to attack the imp again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as, as soon as you like go to make motions at it, the imp goes ah! and turns invisible. Uh, the high hall, which previously uh, had looked quite majestic, uh, is now looking a little more like this. Yeah. Mm. A little salted. Bits of it are just sort of floating. There is, is that normal? fire uh, raging all around. Uh, making your way into the courtyard um, or, or up to it. Uh, this says, this clifftop castle was once the crowning architectural jewel of El Torel. Only three of its five watchtowers still stand. 
though they also appear abandoned. The wooden gates that once led into the castle grounds have been shattered, leaving a gaping hole in the wall. The west side of the castle has been reduced to a pile of smashed brick and broken wood. The surviving buildings are blackened by soot. At the center of the castle grounds, the High Hall Cathedral stands defiant. Uh, mm -hmm. And off in the distance, up into the entrance of the cathedral, you see that there are two uh, red shaggy dogs patrolling back and forth at the entrance, snarling with fire, like smoke coming out of their maw. 